you see somebody saying that he's happy celebrating that he hasn't registered as a voter then today he is up there pushing for lower vote food prices what is that then high chances are high. behind it there's some people pushing their own manifesto trying to evoke emotions of the people and we have already seen them trying to compare okay they are already saying this, this is bgs podcast with mike wombati welcome to the voice of the streets yeah karibu kasfa Asante sana Mike. Yeah, thank you for having me. Time. Yeah, thank you for having me once. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Kwa sababu nalalamika huko nje food prices zinaenda juu sana. Ah, sijui unasema ni is it a political thing? Eh, uh, true Mike, it's very sad bwana. It's a true thing yeah. and also it's a very sad state that the price of food is going up such that the common mwananchi cannot manage to have three meals a day. Yes. It's becoming very hard and the high population cannot manage. It's a very sad situation. Yes and I, as a youth i'm i'm trying to say and coming at this time of elections it's something which needs a critical thinking of it it should not just be handled like the way people are handling it okay you see we, we, the youth are actually experiencing a better experience it's not something to laugh about but now the problem is we're only trending it there okay Now the same youths who find it you see sometimes social media has its things yes it's not a good thing for the hunger situation of the foods to go up but then we also we are also part of the problem is the people we put in place to implement these policies you see yes, yes my these people they are the ones who let us really big deal you see the policies concerning food prices are not made or implemented on social media these things are done in parliament but then you find out that we are also on twitter commenting and lamenting and pushing the hashtag lower food prices with the same people who should be in parliament there working on the prices it's a sad situation so i think the politicians are uh, not being honest with this thing yeah yeah so according to you do you think the covid uh, affected or the as an impact to these food prices yes as much as covid came in it actually impacted on this but also again mike you see we cannot talk about reducing the price of food without lowering the price of of the growing plants okay you see we must also lower the prices of fertilizers the production of food must also go down you see these things these things come hand in hand you see if you lower the cost of production then of course the food will go down but when the cost of production of food goes up it it affects directly to the cost of food let's say a, a bag of fertilizer is going at 6000 You see that's a bag of fertilizer, okay? Many farmers can't afford to buy it, okay? So they produce less food. Then the population is high. That will automatically bring in the decrease in food against the population. Yes, that will automatically bring in the high demand over the supply of it that makes it the price going up. So this thing it needs to approach. As much as we want to lower the price of food, we must also lower the cost of production of food. Yes my. So uh, you saying that on social media the same same people who are supposed to implement uh, this food or uh, to lower the prices of food in Parliament they are the ones pushing this thing uh, with the same same people who are being affected. Yeah, it's a very sad situation that the politicians are not being honest with the, this thing. You see Mike, if you see a politician is also pushing the hashtag lower food prices, okay? But these guys have been in parliament. You see and this thing it's sad that it's only coming at this at the end of the term when it's campaign time, you see? Somebody is using this thing as a campaign tool. But then the real solution th- these people should be in parliament. Okay? They should be lowering the produ- food production prices and lower the, them in parliament. They should lower the price of fuel we also look at the president also give another directive to lower the production uh, the cost of electricity he said in fact is in december we are in february nothing has been done you see the class of politicians is also not being very honest now and i want to take this chance to tell the youths out there that you are seeing these things happening it's high time we be serious about this thing and be very selfish about it we have to coming the elections you have seen what these people are doing they are playing with our emotions you see with them they can afford as much as they want with them buying a bread at 100 bob it's it's nothing okay but for me mike buying a bread at 100 then like, if I, i i can't when when i say i want to eat meat but i will disable the whole month's budget yeah so i can't have meat i can only have it maybe kwa okay 
like you see, I have to make calculations in my head every morning when I wake up. Like, is this thing necessary? I'm an ina may beat. It's not a good thing. It is only a lot for me. It's the majority of youth out there. You can see the outrage in the, on the social media. Like this is affects across the board. Whether for those youths now, they, whether for those who youths who support UDA or those who support Azimi or for those who support whichever the party, the hunger cuts across. And this is something that we must unite. We must find unity of purpose in this. And the election is here. Mike, I think it's it's a chance that is coming for the youths to see and to secure it so that coming the next five years we won't be complaining about the same problems you see these things happen the food shortage always happens a year to elections you remember the, the, the last elections in 2017 you see there was a food shortage even the government had to come in there was no ugali okay and we had to import even ugali from mexico do you remember that thing so these things are sometimes that they're manufactured okay sometimes these politicians manufacture the problems so that they can appear that they are the ones solving it but now, coming this year, I think the youth should learn this thing and we punish this thing, these people by voting them out. Yes, man. So this is where the youths know that uh, politics affect them uh, socially, economically, everywhere. Yes, Mike. The government policy affects everything, everything. It's the government that determines what will happen every time, every now and then. And now this is the high time youth should not. Now you see, Mike, uh, something else. You see when I... I also view memes, okay? Now, when on my timeline, I watch memes, and then I, you see, you see a youth bragging, saying he's an unregistered voter, okay? He is not registered. You see, at heart, I'm a very liberty, okay? But now, it, you see somebody saying that he's happy celebrating that he hasn't registered as a voter. Then today, he's up there pushing for lower vote, uh, vote prices. What is that then? Yeah. Oh Lord. It needs to be part of the change. Yes, yes. Now, you don't have a vote and then you want change. How? Youths out there should go get the votes. You see these things happen. Whether you like politics or you don't, these things will affect you directly. You, your kids and our generations to come. So it's high time we, we, we came with this thing. Coming these elections, for those youths who have been registered kindly, for us to avoid lamenting each and every time. Let's mobilize and organize ourselves and do something which is ardent and which is reasonable. It's a logical solution. Or else lamenting on Twitter and on Facebook, these things will happen. They won't go away, but there are no solutions in it. Nikelele is a chura, okay? The, the big man is out there enjoying, okay? With them, it's just a matter of making it a topic. Yeah. So, uh to clear on this, uh, there are some people saying that uh, the hashtag is very sponsored. So, what do you say about that? Yes, Mike. Being be, 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 being an electioneering period, a lot of things happen, and uh, politicians are musketeers. Man. These people work on everything. Behind them, they have heavy blockers, influencers. High chances are uh, behind it. There's some people pushing their own manifesto, trying to evoke emotions of the people. And we have already seen them trying to compare, okay? They are already saying this side, this side, okay? But when hunger comes, it doesn't know you are from UDA or you're supporting Azimi, okay? Hunger cuts across it, but now the politicians are making it look like, okay? Now it's like the people who from Azimi are having, are buying food at lower prices, or people from UDA will buy lower prices. These people are all in parliament. All these problems happened because of them. So nobody should claim credit like, no, after this, I will change anything, okay? They have been there. They haven't done so. Yeah. Okay, so as we wind up, so uh, what's your friend say political side of your view? On my political side, Michael, I have always been very clear that the youth must always come out and uh, they should never be deceived. They should shine away from politics of deceit and dishonesty. They should look at these things critically and uh, examine these politicians in a logical point of view, check at the manifestos. They should come to know that these politicians are not actually interested in ideas. They're not actually fighting for better economic models. They are, neither are they fighting for political solutions. These people, they are fighting for material things. They are there to secure their own interests. And because they are up there pursuing their selfish interests, the youth should also be very selfish and only elect the leaders who pursue their interests at heart and not 
politicians who are just able to put up a well campaign machine, a well PR, and whatever. That's all, Mike. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mike.